Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing some really positive news, some actually pretty huge news in my opinion, about Tesla stock. And so of course, as many of us already understand this, the company itself and the stock are very interrelated in the sense that if we're looking at sales numbers or progress with the Gigafactor or anything happening right now in the news, it does relate to the stock in the sense that either it's a big enough news piece to create a notable movement in the stock or it's a news piece that will be relevant for the future and will lead to something in the future that will likely cause many people to want to buy the stock and therefore either create a visual movement in the stock price or just a gradual one that is factored in over time and so today's news videos is all about the sales numbers in Europe for August and we have to address the fact that Europe has been a major cherry-picked topic of discussion for Tesla bears such as Gordon Johnson we all all know the infamous man with the Tesla price target of $19 per share but this news video is certainly relevant and does address one of the major talking points by Tesla bears which is of course sales in Europe and as we all know the Renault Zoe I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not but we all know that that has been one of the major popular cars in Europe I think it has actually had first place for a lot of the times for the monthly sales but this news video is certainly relevant in the sense that we are finally starting to see Tesla take over with the number one spot in Europe as well so we'll get into that news piece in just a second with the list and everything like that but just to go ahead and address the current share price today and of course I almost forgot if you all do enjoy the Tesla videos and the Tesla news videos please make sure to smash that like button it really does help me out but just to address the current share price for Tesla we are at a share price of $418.81 per share and for today we actually got a really nice gain at plus 3.40 percent that is plus $13.80 86 cents added on to the share price and then for the after hours currently it's around 6 p.m for me right now after hours ends at 8 p.m and so we're at minus 0.57 percent that's minus two dollars and 39 cents off of the share price so a really solid day for tesla stock so far but now that we've addressed that i just want to get right into this news piece but beforehand i want to note that although i think this news is huge obviously i just want to mention that the most relevant key statistic for tesla is global e EV sales and not necessarily just what Europe is doing or just what this country is doing or how are sales in this location. The important number to pay attention to is how many EVs is Tesla selling worldwide and what is the comparison of that to their competition. And so that's really the relevant one. And as I've said, the Europe sales have been like a cherry pick statistic by the Tesla bears. And even though it is cherry picked, it's still relevant in the global EV sales. And now that we're actually seeing some more progress with the sales in Europe, I just really wanted to emphasize that with this video. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this article and then I'll proceed to discuss some things further and just expand on it a little bit. So as you can see, this is another article by the Tasmanian and author Eva Fox and the article is titled Tesla Model 3 is August's best selling EV in Europe. So of course, as always, we greatly appreciate this information from the Tasmanian and author Eva Fox. And of course, I want you all to be able to check out this article for yourself, but I just want to address the key point of this which is the chart from EV sales block in which they note the EV sales for August in Europe and so as we can see this is ordered with a Renault Zoe as number one I don't know if that's Zoe or Zoe but this is ordered by the statistic of year to date so the number one vehicle that we see is the number one in terms of how many sales by the year to date so this isn't ordered by how many sales in August so if we just look at the numbers themselves we have have the Tesla Model 3 at the number one sold vehicle for August at 7,020 sales and then the Renault Zoe which is actually the number one for the year to date that's actually the second place for the month of August but what's really important about this chart here is the fact that the Tesla Model 3 has taken over as the number one bestseller for August and I'm really excited about this because I think this trend may continue for the future for Europe especially once we finally get the Gigafactory constructed in Berlin and we finally have Model 3s and Model Ys being pumped out of that one as more of a supply starts to get to Europe, then I think we'll start to see Tesla dominate even more. I think that's one of the constraints at this point in time, at least previously with the past months of 
the best selling EVs was just that we had this constraint on why would Tesla ship vehicles from a very far away location when they can sell it basically right near their factory like with the Shanghai Gigafactory why would they ship that out somewhere else when they can sell all of their vehicles easily just near Shanghai or like with the Fremont factory why would they ship that somewhere else like in Europe and go through all of those extra costs when they can simply sell it in the United States easily so that's kind of like one of those talking points that address this cherry-picked data of the EV sales in Europe with Tesla not really dominating as much as we see them across the world so like I said we have the Tesla Model 3 being the number one sold vehicle in August and yes the Renault Zoe is still the number one for the year to date it has a little bit of a lead around a 10 or 11,000 sale lead so we have 52,150 Renault Zoes being sold and then 41,047 Tesla Model 3s being sold so the Tesla Model 3 takes up a 7% market share in Europe and the Renault Zoe takes up a 9% market share and I think we will start to see the Model 3 begin to take a little bit more of a market share as this continues and we recently got a news piece about the Shanghai Gigafactory exporting their vehicles to other locations I think that they noted Japan and Korea as the major locations right now but like I said as we get the Gigafactory in Berlin fully constructed then I think that's when we really start to see Tesla dominate in the Model 3 just start to take the top spot every single month and you never know what's going to happen with the Model Y as well a lot of us are expecting to see the Model Y take over as the top seller in a lot of the locations and yes that may vary based on the location because as we know size is an important factor when it comes to people picking specific vehicles in different locations in the world so that is a relevant factor as well so anyways as I've emphasized in this video over and over already we do have the Tesla Model 3 taking over as the number one seller for the month of August in Europe and then like I said the Renault Zoe is still the second place EV seller and then for the third place seller interestingly we have the Ford Kuga PHEV which had 5,055 sales and then next up we have the Hyundai Kona which is as you can see the fourth place for the year to date at 4,054 sales and then for the fifth place seller of August we have the Mercedes A250 E at 3,505 sales so although on the year to date it is in 18th place it was still the fifth place seller for August of 2020 so I just wanted to note a few of the up and coming ones that are starting to sell a little bit more right now in comparison to their positions on the year to date chart so we are seeing a little bit of a change right now where some of these in the top 10 are actually being replaced with some of them that are farther on down the list like the Mercedes A250 E now that doesn't mean that's going to be a long term trend but it is something to take note of at least happening right now and also just to address another key point of this article it does state that the main markets for the Model 3 were Germany which sold 2,824 units, the UK, which sold 950, and the Netherlands, which sold 609. And so like I said, I want you all to be able to check that article out for yourself, so I will leave it linked down in the description below. But that is really huge in the sense that we are finally seeing this happen with the sales in Europe. Like I said, this has been a talking point for Tesla bears for quite some time, and now we kind of have like a clapback where Tesla is starting to take over as the number one seller, at least the Model 3 right now now that of course could change in the future but as I've said with the Shanghai Gigafactory we are starting to see some exports happening however as I mentioned the primary focus right now for the Shanghai Gigafactory is I believe Korea and Japan so it still could be quite some time before Tesla is able to meet demand in Europe however like I mentioned previously it just doesn't make that much sense to ship pretty far away from your factory when you can actually sell it a lot closer so that's one of the reasons so far why we haven't really seen super crazy insane numbers for Europe and just like total domination like we've been seeing in other locations across the world as I've mentioned the really key statistic to pay attention to is the number of Tesla EVs sold worldwide and especially in comparison to the competitor EV numbers as well so I think this is a huge news piece in the sense that we're finally starting to see progress in Europe as well the sales numbers are always huge for a lot of people just because it makes it a lot easier especially when we have a top 10 chart or a top 20 chart for people to grasp how popular 
where Teslas are right now and put that in perspective with the rest of the EVs. So anyways, please make sure to smash that like button if you all enjoyed the video. And also feel free to check out Robinhood and Webull in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Webull right now, you can get one free stock valued up to $1,600. And to get that, all you have to do is sign up with my referral link and deposit $100 into your account. Keep in mind, you can take that $100 right back out of your account after you get your free stock. So it's basically just nice passive income with minimal effort. And especially if you've already gotten your free stock with Robinhood, that's just another free one with just a little effort, like I said. And it also helps support the channel in which I get some free stocks as well. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.